How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher, Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss the last variation that is being presented in the grade 9 most essential learning competencies, and that is all about combined variations. Now, if you don't know anything about this topic, well, tune in, relax, and finish this video. But before anything else, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners! Welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. Today, we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency-based lesson for quarter 2 of the grade 9 mathematics which is all about combined variation. Now the question is, what is a combined variation? By definition, combined variation is the relationship in which one variable is directly proportional to another variable and varies inversely into another variable. It means that we are dealing here with three or more variables. Now, question is, how do we illustrate combined variations? Combined variation is denoted as y is equal to kx over z. Now, take a look at this denotion. y here is what we call the dependent variable. y is directly proportional to x and y is inversely proportional to z. Of course, talking about that relationship, we need also to have a constant of variation. Now, how do we read this kind of illustration? y varies directly as x and inversely as z. Basically, combined variation is a combination of direct variation and inverse variation in one mathematical sentence. Now, next question is, how do we translate combined variations? Okay, math learners, as we can see here, we have the first exercises. Translate A varies directly as B and inversely as C. The second one is M varies directly as N and inversely as the square of P. So how do we translate this given statements? The first one is that we are talking about three variables, the A, the B, and the C. So, it says here that A varies directly as B. So, we could write A is equal to KB. Is it right? Then, inversely as C. And A now is inversely proportional as C. So, we just make an over and then we put C. So, this is our translation for our given first statement. Is it right? Now, let's go to the second statement. M varies directly as N. That's easy. So, that is M is equal to KN. And inversely as the square of P. Inversely. So, we make over and then P. Is this correct? No. Why? Because it says here, the square of P. So, it means that our P should have a power of 2, which is P squared. So, be careful in translating your statements so that when you apply this given mathematical sentence and apply it with various values, then your solution won't get any mistakes. Easy, right? Now, let us go to solving combined variations. Okay, math learners, we have here an example on how to solve combined variations. H varies directly as M and inversely as N. If H is 14, when M is equal to 7 and N is equal to 3, what is H when M equals 4 and N is equal to 8? Solve for K and formulate the equation of variation. Now, in solving combined variation, this is the same as what we are doing in the previous variations. First thing we should do is we should translate our statement. H varies directly as M and inversely as N. So therefore, what we need to do is we write H and then directly as M. So that is KM over N. So this is our translation for our statement. Now, the next thing you should do is you need to solve for the value of K. So how do we solve 
our value of k. Basically, what you need to do here is you just need to derive k in this given equation. How to do that? That is, you cross multiply h times n, that is hn is equal to km. Alright. And then, you divide both sides by m so that your k will be left. Okay. So, basically, this will be k and then you have hn over m. So, what we will do here is you just multiply h to n and then divide it by m. You will have your k. Okay. So, let's apply it to our given variables. So, now, what we need to do next is to solve for the value of k. By using this equation, we have k is equal to hn over m. Okay? And then, our h for the first given is 14 multiply by our n, which is 3, divided by our m, which is 7. So, as you can see here, we could do two ways. You can multiply it and then divide or you can divide and then multiply. For me, this will be easy if I divide 14 to 7. And that is 2. 2 times 3, that is 6. So therefore, my k is equal to 6. I have solved this question. Okay. So now, what is the equation of variation? So what we need to do is, we just use this original statement. And we substitute our k. And that is 6m over n and this will be your equation of variation easy right so now let us solve for the last question and that is what is h when your m is 4 and your n is 8 okay so our h is unknown our 6 that's the constant our m is 4 divided by our n that is so by solving this, we have 6 times 4, that is 24 over 8, and that is equal to 3. So therefore, our h is equal to 3 when our m is 4 and our n is equal to 8. Easy, right? So now, let us consider one more example. Okay, math learners, we are down to our final example, and that is Z varies jointly as Y and W, and inversely as X squared. If Z is equal to 189, when Y is equal to 28, W is equal to 16, and X is equal to 8, what is K, or the constant, the equation, and Z, when your Y is 24, your W is 4, and your X is equal to 6? Now, my dear math learners, as you can see, the first statement or the first part of the statement is not direct. But remember that joint variation is also considered as part of a direct variation because they are just somewhat related such that the context is the same but the number of variables do not. Okay, so this is still considered as combined variation because it has other variations that are being combined. Okay, so joint variation, inverse variation, or direct variation and inverse variation in one statement is still considered as a combined variation. Now, let us try to solve this problem. The first thing we should do is we need to translate our statement. And that is, Z is equal to jointly as Y, varies jointly as Y and W. So that is K, Y, W over varies inversely as x squared. So that is x squared. So this will be your mathematical equation from this given statement. Okay? Now, what we need to do is we need to get first how to solve for our k. So by considering this one, you just cross multiply. Okay? So you will have k is equal to cross multiply. That is x squared z over what is here? That is w y or y w okay so what we need to do is we just need to apply our values in our mathematical equation so how do we do that our x squared is 8 so that is 8 squared okay multiplied by our z and that is 189 and then we have divided by our w is 16 
Okay? And then we have here, um, our y is 28. Okay. So by just simplifying, 8 squared is 64 times 189 over, this is 16 times 28. Okay. So you can do cancellation in solving this one. 64 and 16 can be cancelled. So this is 4 and 1. Okay, and by the way, 4 and 28, this can also be cancelled. This will become 7 and this will become 1. So that gives us 189 for our numerator. And in our denominator, we have 7. Now, this is quite easy if you divide this one because 189 divided by 7, that will give you 2, that is 14, 27. Okay, so the value of your K is 27. Easy, right? So you have already answered the first question. The next question is, how do we get the equation of variation? So if this is your equation from the statement, what you need to do here is you just substitute your k with the value that was being solved, and that is 27. So that gives us z is equal to 27 um, wy over x squared. Now, you might be asking me, Sir Ash, why is it WY here and then here YW? Remember, my dear math learners, in mathematics, if two letters are beside with each other, it means that is multiplication. Therefore, if it is multiplication, then it can be written um, otherwise. So, basically, 1 times 2 is just the same as 2 times 1. And A times B and B times A are just the same. So, WY and YW, they are also the same. However, it is much better for us to write it in an alphabetical order. Okay? Now, we have our equation. We have our K. Next thing to do is to solve our value of Z when your Y is 24, W is 4, and your X is equal to 6. Question is, how do we do that? We will just use our equation of variation here. And that will give us Z is equal to our constant 27 times w that is 4 times y that is 24 okay divided by x squared and that will become 6 squared okay so next thing we do is we simplify this this will become 27 times 4 times 24 over 36 why it became 36 because 6 squared is 36 so for me to have an easy way to solve this one without using calculator, I will do the cancellation. We have here 27 and 36. They are both divisible by 9. So, if I divide this by 9, this will become 3. If I divide this by 9, this will become 4. Now, I have also a factor here, 4 and 4. I can cancel them. Okay. So, therefore, I don't have any number in my denominator side so basically that is already one okay so i just have 3 and 24 so 3 times 24 is 72 and that is how we solve the value of z if your y is 24 your w is 4 and your x is equal to 6 now this is the time that i will challenge you whether you have understood our topic and here it is Okay, math learners, I hope you have a wonderful time in learning combined variations in an easy way. How to translate, how to solve, and how to get the constants and unknowns. Now, if you do have some questions about this topic or any other topics in mathematics, feel free to put your inquiries in our comment section below. Always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you so much and please do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated in our upcoming lessons. God bless, take care, and keep safe always. Congratulations, math learners, for arriving to this part of the video. If you think that this video has helped you, click that like button. And if you think that this channel can change the way you see mathematics, do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you.